is the summer of Ricky Martin. Not since Elvis has the sight of swiveling hips caused such a stir. Oh, so beautiful, I love him. A lot of people telling you how good you are, you know, about, you know, you can start flying and it could be very dangerous, very painful when you start coming down. But the loco scene that follows the 27-year-old Puerto Rican singer is showing no sign of coming down. Ricky's even won a Grammy and counts Madonna as one of his biggest fans. Hi, baby. Oh, I love, how are you? We thought it'd be fun to take a look at this heartthrob before Ricky Mania hit. Look at me. Hi! <laughs> we spent time with Ricky over the last few years, and looking at our old tapes, you can clearly see a star being born. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, tomorrow doesn't exist. A few years ago, Ricky could never have known the incredible success waiting for him right around the corner. <sighs> But Ricky's keeping his cool, maybe because he's been groomed for superstardom all of his adult life. After all, he was only 12 when he joined the Latin group Menudo. It gave me the opportunity to know what I really wanted in life. Journalist Kathleen Tracy is the author of the new book, Ricky Martin, Red Hot and on the Rise. He has been working towards this moment really ever since he left Menudo. And it's not totally by accident. A lot of this is really planning on his part. Like all the Menudo boys, Ricky was booted from the group at age 17. But while the other members drifted into obscurity, Ricky was on a mission and became the biggest Latin star around. Lori Majewski is a senior editor at Teen People. Around the world, he was, he was probably as big as Madonna for the longest time. But Ricky wanted to make it in America. In the early 90s, he went to Hollywood, where he won a part on General Hospital as a Latin lover. It's time for you to trust me. During his General Hospital days, Ricky gave our cameras an all-access pass behind the scenes, from the rehearsals. I am not prepared to live my life without you. To the tapings. OK, hey, you ready? Ricky was thrilled to be a Latin star, making a name for himself on American TV. The adrenaline is, it's, is amazing. I don't know, I, I, I enjoy it very much, and I think this is what I want to be doing forever. Ricky's old General Hospital co-star, Carrie Shane. I think he was in, in a time of experimenting um, at that point in his life and really figuring out what he wanted to do. In my life. The next time we met up with Ricky was in 1996, when another of his dreams came true. I am one with the gods, and heaven is near. Ricky was performing on Broadway in the hit musical Les Miserables. It feels amazing to reach one of my goals, uh, but it opens new, new doors to things that I want to keep doing. Music thrills me. Music is something that I don't want to stop doing ever. And it's with music that Ricky was to become a household name outside of Latin America. Last year, he recorded his very first album in English. And when Living La Vida Loca was unleashed, it went straight to number one. Ricky's crossover success is no surprise to his old co-star. He can do whatever he wants to do because he's just... He's got that thing. And now, Ricky's dream of only a few years ago is a reality. I want to bring my music all over the world.